making cornbread today and I am sprucing it up with some extra ingredients and I thought I'd share that with you. Now you can make your cornbread however you like. There that's mine back there already mixed up and we have some cheese, shredded cheese. This is sauteed onions with garlic. Now when you saw, do this, you want to saute your onions so they start to caramelize and then you just want to add the garlic, you cut up the garlic and add it for about a minute or two. You don't really want to cook it, you just kind of want those oils to soak in and get that nice flavor in there. I have some all natural sour cream and some sage sausage. I really like the sage sausage, it's my favorite and it costs the same. This is a jalapeno pepper, and these are green onions. Now these are fresh, and something about the jalapeno that I want to share with you. Now if you like, if you want this to be um, spicy and hot, then you keep the insides. But if you'd like to have it just kind of just a little bit of a tang flavor, just kind of just a little bit of a zest, I guess you'd say, then um, you want to take these middle parts out. And I kind of wanted to show you that. And I am going to take out the middle part of this and um, cut it up like this and I'm going to add the whole jalapeno pepper. So this is about, um, about a fourth of a cup of sour cream. This is about three fourths of the onions and garlic. And this is probably about a cup of that sage sausage. Now um, with the sage sausage I add big pieces and small pieces. I like I want to bite into the sausage, but then the smaller pieces will add extra flavor throughout the cornbread. Then here is the green onions, which are about, I believe there was five, and then the whole jalapeno pepper without the seeds, because the seeds are what makes it really hot. So, and uh, we're going to mix this up. So here are the ingredients mixed up, and I have been preheating my oven, oven at 425, so that is going. And what I'm going to do with the cheese, is I'm going to take about a handful of it and I'm going to sprinkle it on here. Let's do a little bit more. Now I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to mix up that real good. And here it is with the cheese all mixed in. And now I'm going to put it into my iron skillet. Here is my cornbread in the iron skillet. And I'm going to do one more thing. And this is purely really for uh, looks. And that is I am going to cheese around it. It just makes it look really pretty when it's done. And I really like the taste. I think cornbread tastes better than my iron skillet. There's just something about it. The way that it cooks, that just makes it taste better. And then I'm just, with a spoon, I'm just going to kind of mash that down a little bit. So when I'm done with this, I'm going to cook it in the oven for approximately 25 to 35 minutes. It really kind of depends. I watch it. You want it, you want your knife to come clean. And with the added ingredients, sometimes it does take a little bit longer to get that cornbread cooked all the way. So you just want to, when your knife or whatever you use to check uh, comes through clean, then it's done. So here is my finished cornbread. The top is a little darker than I like it to be. I do have a new oven and it's the first time I have baked anything in it so I'll just have to touch the temperature. Normally you can see the cheese kind of swirled throughout the top and because it's darker you can't. Here's the inside. It really looks good, tastes good. Please leave any comments or questions you have below and I'll get back to you. And thank you for watching.